Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an ABB robot so that you can connect to Machina and then talk back and forth in real time. However, I don't have a real ABB robot right now with me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the whole process in Robot Studio. And then it's actually very, very similar to how you would do it in the real world. And uh, hopefully at some point I will get I will be around an ABB robot and I will be able to just replace this video with a better version of it. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to set up your computer to connect to the machine. All right, uh, the way I usually do it is I have this USB dongle that um, gives me Ethernet connection for my computer. All right, so I just stick this in my computer and then you connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to the service port on the front of the controller of the robot, all right? If everything goes well, you should be able to open from your computer a command prompt, and unless somebody has done changes to the configuration of the robot, typically robots, ABB robots, the service port gives you, gives your computer an address that is in the local network of the controller. And the address of the machine, the address of the ABB robot is 192.168.125.1, one. all right? So if you plug the Ethernet cable to your computer and to the service port and everything is working well, you should be able to open a command prompt like I just did, um, which is like the Windows version of a terminal, and then ping the machine with the IP of the machine. So if you type ping and then the IP of the controller, what your laptop will do, which mine is not doing, is it will send small packages of data to the controller, and then the controller, if it receives them, it will bounce them back. I am not getting that because I'm not connected to the robot, but you should be getting acknowledgement messages like everything went well, we got the message like four times, all right? If that's the case, it means that you are correctly connected to the machine and that communication can start flowing, all right? If not, you should review your manuals, you should like review your network configuration, what is going on uh, to try to make that happen, all right? 